Hi, it's Paris from Epic Views, the tech channel, and I'm out being mobile today and being a little worried about the security on my phone. It's just been announced that there's a fairly major security flaw in uh, the Android operating system, which means it affects so many phones, most phones in the last four years, and it could allow someone to gain access to your phone, to everything on your phone, to your password, say to your email, which is your Google email, which then lets them get into all of your other Google related stuff. They could send texts as you, pretty much take over your identity as far as use of your phone is concerned. And the only phone that is, isn't at risk for this is the brand new Samsung Galaxy S4. It turns out they incorporated the fix into that because they've actually known about this. Google has known about this since early this year. And it was a mobile security firm called Blue Box that discovered this. And they went and told Google about it first and said, we'll give you a few months to get this fix and then we're going to go public with it. And so now they've gone public with it. And next month at the Black hat convention in Las Vegas where trade secrets of hacking and so forth get traded they're going to actually show how this works what we know so far is they basically found a way to bypass the security feature where there's a encrypted security certificate for an app or for an update to an app that is like the certification that this is valid it came from this person and basically that you don't have to worry about it but they found a way that they but these people have found a way to be able to take some software code that does what they want, stick it into an app, into an update for an app, and not disturb that uh, encrypted security code. So that when you go, to, normally that code would say, hey, this uh, software no longer matches with the original, so it's invalid, it wouldn't allow it to install, or it would at least warn you about it. It doesn't tell you that anymore. It's basically fooled into installing their software as though it were the original app. Now, Google has fixed this on the Google Play Store. They've put something in place that catches it. So if you're just installing apps from the Google Play Store, you should be okay. Updates, if they come from somewhere else, could be another issue. But again, if you stick to the Google Play Store, most people are saying you're all right. Now, what has me a little worried is I signed up for the Amazon App Store, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago, and they were doing this free app a day deal. And so I've got a lot of Amazon apps on my phone. I don't know how Amazon is, is taking care of this. What's the story of the security updates at their store or of their app? So what's the best way to make sure that this doesn't happen to you? Well, normally I would say go get a pure Android phone. They get the updates first, uh, like a Nexus 4, Google Nexus 4, or my phone, the Google Galaxy Nexus. But it turns out Google hasn't even released an update that fixes this security problem on the, on the pure Android phones. Again, the only phone that's immune to this is the Galaxy S4, which is a Samsung phone and they incorporated the fix into that because it's a new enough phone they managed to do that. Hopefully my phone will get an update soon but since it's a pure Android and it's the very latest version but um, I, it's been several months Google hasn't got on the case and fixed it yet so if your phone runs an even older version of Android especially something now that you're going to have to wait on either the phone manufacturer or your cell phone company to release the update and make that available to you it's going to be a while I would expect so there's really nothing that you can do on the phone end to uh, stay safe from this. Really, the only thing you can do is to not go out and get any of those third-party apps. And if you did go out and uncheck that little box in your phone that says, do not allow third-party apps, you better go back and check it again because this really shows how dangerous it is. Because this really shows how dangerous it can be to save a couple bucks to go out and get an unauthorized version of the app rather than going through the Google Play Store, paying the couple bucks that they charge you, but at least knowing that Google has vetted the app and and they've caught this uh, flaw and they won't let it through onto your phone. Your only other choice would be to go to a phone with a different operating system, Apple and iOS and the iPhone. I've tried that, it's really not for me, so I understand there's risk with going with the Wild West operating system of Android, and when you live in the Wild West, you just have to accept that occasionally some cattle are gonna get rustled.